Hey everybody, it is me, Siri Sorrow Imogy, and I'm back with more My Immortal, the really bad, infamous Harry Potter fan fiction. And I'm going to continue it today. So it's going to be chapters 5 through 8. So it's chapters 5 and 6, and then chapters 7 and 8. Pretty much for today. So, for this part, because this is part 2. So I'm going to go ahead and get right to it. Chapter 5, author's note. Stop flaming! If you flame it, means you're a prep or a poser. What? No! <coughs> a prep or a poser? Already! I haven't even started reading the entire, like, the, the actual part where the actual story is. And this already made me gag. <laughs> when that happens, you know your story is bad. The only reason Dumbledore swore is because he had a headache, okay? Wait, Dumbledore actually had a headache? Or is this some trollalicious thing that we're going? Mmm, that's some tea. And on top of that, it sounds like Sir Toph and Hat or something like that. If you guys seen Thomas Tank Engine. <laughs> no, more like the dispatcher from Theodore the Tugboat. Everybody sleeps on that show. Why? I don't understand it. Okay. Uh, on top of that, he was mad at them for having sex. P.S. I'm not updating until I get five good reviews. Okay, so, uh, by the looks of it, she, I'm pretty sure, Tara, is, she prob she's probably throwing these threats because she's probably getting herself roasted. And honestly, and it's not just genuine, it's not just genuine people who re really love to read or they are really good with English. Like, even just some random average everyday person who probably isn't a fan of English can't tell how bad this is written already. And I'm not even at the climax of this story. Okay. Dumbledore made me and Drake made and Draco, and I follow him. He kept shouting at us angrily. You ludicrous fools! He shouted. I started to cry, tears of blood down my pallid face. Face. <laughs> Tears of blood. What? Okay, if, if, okay. I'm, by the looks of it, by some theories, I will not, well, I guess this is my own theory, but it looks like she's trying to make these vampires like the, the, the vampires from Twilight, but the last time I checked, the vampires from Twilight don't actually produce, they don't have tears. They actually don't produce tears. They just have, they just have, like, they just cry tearlessly. But I don't know about the olden time vampires, if you know, like, Count Dracula or something. I don't know. Draco comforted me. When we went back to the castle, Dumbledore took us to S Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall. Who were both looking very angry. They were having sexual intercourse in the forbidden forest! He yelled in a furious voice. Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? Asked Professor McGonagall. How dare you? Demanded Professor Snape. I don't think that was a demand, but whatever. And then Draco shrieked. Because I never! Every, everyone was quiet. Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad, but, but, excuse me, Professor Snape said, Fine, very well, you may go up to your rooms. Oh, Lord. Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. Are you okay, Ebony? Draco asked me gently. Yeah, I guess. I lied. Wait! <laughs> ha! What? 
<laughs> You're lying when you just got yourself freed from, from possible detention. This girl is terrible. She's not getting in trouble for her actions. There's a reason why the Forbidden Forest is called the Forbidden Forest. Ugh. I don't know what is going on here. I went to the girl's room, to the girl's dorm, excuse me, and brushed my teeth and my hair and changed into a low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace all around it and black high heels. What? Wait, vampires brush their teeth? Uh, the last time I checked, and this is, goes for both types of vampires, that I don't ever remember of them brushing their teeth. Unless if there's a special kind of toothpaste for vampires. But other than that, I have no idea what. I don't know. I don't get it. It's just, I don't know. And also, I don't need to know everything that this girl is wearing. I really don't. When I came out, Draco was standing in front of the bathroom and he started to sing, I just want to live by good Charlotte. Oh! <laughs> oh. Christ! Why does she reference Muggle Bands? This is, an, this is a wizarding world. Unless if this girl has some sort of fascination with or obsession with uh, muggle things. Yeah, that probably sounds accurate. Accurate enough, eh? I was so flattered, even though he wasn't supposed to be here. We hugged and kissed. After that, we said goodnight and he reluctantly went back to his room. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought they were going to go on, go on for it again. I really thought they were. Okay. Chapter 6. Author's note. Shit. Preps okay. P.S. I'll not update until, until you give me good revos. What? Revows. Fries, no. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Christ. The next day I woke up in my coffin. I put on a black miniskirt that was all ripped around the end and matching top with red skulls all over it and high heeled boots that were that were black. I put on two pairs of skull ring or earrings and two crosses in my ears. I sprayed painted I spray painted my hair with purple. Stop Stop describing everything that you're wearing. It's starting to drive me crazy. It's starting to drive me insane at this point. My gosh! In the Great Hall, I ate some Count Chocula cereal with blood instead of milk. Ew! Who does ew? Okay. Although I think uh, Count Chocula cereal, I I know there is a cereal. I know like during the holiday season. I mean, not the holiday. During the Halloween uh, season. Yeah, during that, um, they do come up with, like, more Halloween-themed cereals. And I think that's what this is referencing to. I know I've seen those, like, at HEB and Walmart and, uh, I... And even Walgreens. Christ. Maybe Target, too. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, I, I said I've seen it at HEB, which is a... Which is my local grocery store in Texas, so... <laughs> um... With blood. Ew, that's disgusting. Can you imagine the taste? Like, oh god. That's disgusting. And a glass of red blood. This girl's obsessed with blood. Someone stop her. Suddenly, someone bumped into me. All the blood spilled over my top. 
Well, Lord, I think this is the only time I will find it acceptable for you to change. And to be like, okay, now you now it's going to be another one of those you have to describe everything that you have to wear. Bastard! I crowd, I shouted angrily. I regretted saying it. When I looked up, because I was looking into the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair and red streaks in it. Oh no, this is, this is happening again. He was wearing a, he was wearing so much eyeliner that I was going down his face and he was wearing black lipstick. He didn't have glasses anymore and now he was wearing co red contact lenses just like Draco's and there was no scar on his forehead anymore. He had a manly stu he had a manly stubble on his chin. He had a sexy English accent. Excuse me? Uh, um, um, this is Scotland, England, yo. Pretty sure most of the people that you come across with pretty much have English accents. <sighs> For crying out loud. I don't even know. I don't even know what to think anymore. He looked exactly like Joel Maiden. He was so sexy that my body went all hot when I saw him kind of an, like an erection. Only I'm a girl, so I didn't get one, you sicko. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Also, I don't understand... I don't, I don't know. Do vampires actually get these kind of feelings? Like they're getting an erection or, or not that erection. Or they, like they feel like they feel their body getting hot or something. Do vampires actually get that? Or is that just some sort of urban myth or something? I don't know. I'm so sorry. He said in a shy voice. That's all right. What's your name? I questioned. My name's Harry Potter. Although most people call me vampire these days, he grumbled. Vampire Potter! Vampire Potter! No! Stop it! No! This is already, I've gagged, I've like pretend gagged more times in this part than I have in the last part. And I'm not even halfway done with the entire thing. Okay. Why? I exclaimed. Because I love the taste of human blood. He giggled. Well, I am a vampire, I confessed. Really? He whimpered. Yeah, I roared. We sat down for a talk. We sat down to talk for a while. Then Draco came up behind me and told me that he had a surprise for me. So I went away with him. Uh oh. Is this some sex going to die? <laughs> They're just. Ah! This is going to be some. Weirdo six or something that I don't know. Okay, chapter seven, bring me to life. <laughs> <laughs> Why? This is no. <laughs> if she's trying to reference the Evanescence song, you did a terrible job at it, honey. Plus, I, I mean, not saying that the that the Evanescence version was bad. Because honestly, it wasn't bad. It was pretty good. But honestly, there was another. There was another. Um, I know there are like people do covers and then people sing it for like their albums or whatnot. And the best one that I've heard is the Chris Daughtry version from the show that he did. I think it was called The Passion or something like that. I don't know. I've never seen that show, but I've heard the song. The song that he sang, and it was freaking lit! Oh man, that was too good. Okay. And also, it was something a little different that he's done since normally. Most of the songs from the band Daughtry aren't really not like that. Uh, 
Not like in the, not like how Evanescent's songs are. So, I don't know. Maybe it was different, but cool. It was cool. But all right, I'll, I'll get back into track. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> um, I'll just get back on track. Authors know. Well, okay, you guys. I'm only writing this because I got five God reviews. What does God have to do with this? This is so horrendous. I'm pretty sure a lot of Christians and a lot of Catholics or anybody who calls their God, God is going to gag and laugh at your stupidity. I'm being honest here. Like, people, like, these people will laugh at you. Or uh, either they will laugh or they will get pretty offended. Unless if this girl really hates religion, which I have the feeling that she probably does. And... Eek. But I will not throw... I will not put up a full... I will not, like, start going on full ranting about that because I don't really like to discuss that stuff on my channel just because I... Just because there's always going to be people that'll, that'll get mad or something. They'll get pissed and everything. I remember I posted my rant for the... Um, what YouTube was doing about, like, people who supported the LB... The... The LBGT... Were that stuff. And I got, like... I Most of the people that, that um, commented usually had... Usually did say that it that they agreed with me. And then there were some people that were pretty pissed about it. They were pretty pissed that I that I was that I was mad about the situation. But then, then again then again I'm I mean I am not a fan of conservatives of of conservatism, but I won't go into that. I'll just go right into the story. And by the way, I won't write that the next chapter Till I get 10 good vons. What? I'm sorry, what does that mean? Stop flaming or I'll report you. Ebony. <laughs> Ebony. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> For, okay, first Ebony's name was to Anna B. And now it's Ebony. Spelled with a V, not a B. Oh my god. Goodness gracious. Ebony isn't a Mary Sue. Okay. Um she, I'm pretty sure Ebony takes the trope of takes the trope of Mary Sue to a whole different level. And even if uh and even just goes beyond the level that um well, I mean there are there are Mary Sue's that are terrible people, um, and they can be so trash in that. The only Mary Sue character that I found to be a decent person was I, and I mentioned this before, but it was Rey from Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Yes, according to some people, she is a Mary Sue, but I will not discuss that because that's not where we're going. Okay, she isn't perfect. She's a Satanist. <coughs> and she has problems. She's depressed, for God's sake. <coughs> Why? Just the face palming... The gagging, the laughing I have put myself through from this story already it is beyond all measure. Christ, I don't even know what to say anymore. Draco and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I was wearing red Satanist things on my nails and red nail polish. Others know. See, d does that sound like a Mary Sue to you? Uh, <laughs> no, and I'm, and I'm pretty sure that is 100% sarcasm. I waved to Vampire. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. Dark misery. Oh, no. <laughs> this is painful. 
You want to know what's dark misery? This story. This is agony. This is the this is the mecca of dark. This story on its own, so far, is the mecca of dark misery. The mecca of agony through just every sorts of mental pain you put yourself through. And I'll feel bad for everyone who had to go through that and read the story for the interwebs. I guess he was jealous of me because I was that I was going out with Draco. Okay. Anyway, I went upstairs excitedly with Draco. We went into his room and locked the door then. We started Frenching pass uh, passively and we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically. He fell to me up before I took off of my top. Then I took off my black leather bra. Duh, wouldn't that hurt you? And rather uncomfortable. And he took off his pants. Okay. We went on the bed and started making out naked. And then he put his boy thinging into my into mine and we had sex. See, is that stupid? And he put his boy thinging into mine. <coughs> so yeah, there you go, you had it. Draco put his boy thinging into Ebony's girl thingy. Oh, Draco, Draco! I screamed while getting an orgasm. When all of a sudden I saw a tattoo. I've never seen it before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with an arrow through it. On it in bloody gothic writing were the words VAMPIRE! I was so angry. YO BATHA! I shouted angrily, jumping out of the bed. No! No! But you don't understand! Draco pleaded, but I knew too much. No, you effing idiot! I shouted. You probably have AIDS anyway. Does this girl even know what AIDS is? I don't think she does. I put on my clothes all huffily and then stopped out. Draco ran even though he was naked. He had a pretty big, you know what? But I was too mad to care. I stomped out and did so, and did so, until I was in Vampire's classroom, where he was having a lesson with with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire Potter, you mother ever! I shut. I yelled. Oh, now we are going to the magical chapter numeral chapter eight. Okay, chapter eight. Author's note, stop flashing, okay? If you do, then you are a prep. I still, I still laugh at the prep part. Oh, number one, this goes all the way to nine. Didn't I go through all this? I'm going for like page for page, so I assume five through six, but this is actually five through nine. Alrighty then, well, I, I was a complete idiot after all. Okay. Everyone in class stared at me, and then Draco came into the room even though he was naked and started begging me to take him back. E Ebony, it's not what you think! Draco screamed sadly. My friend Bloody Mary Smith smiled at me understandably. She flipped her long, waist-length gothic black hair and opened her crimson eyes like blood that she was wearing contact lenses on. She got pale white skin that she was wearing white makeup on. Hermione was kidnapped when she was born. Her real parents are vampires and one of them is a witch. But Voldemort killed her mother and her father committed suicide because he was depressed about it. She still had nightmares about it and she was very haunted and depressed. It also turns out her real last name is Smith and not Granger. <coughs> <laughs> Since she had converted to Satanism when she she is in Slytherin now, not Gryffindor. She can't even spell Gryffindor. I have no hope for her. And when I mean her, I mean Tara. I have no hope for her. What is it that you desire, you ridiculous dimwit? Snape demanded him. 
demeaned angrily in his cold voice, but I ignored it. Vampire! I can't believe you cheated on me with Draco! Everyone gasped. <clears throat> I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. I went out with Vampire. I'm bi, and so is Ebony. But for a while, he broke my heart. He dumped me because he liked Brittany. A stupid preppy, uh, preppy effort. We just... We were just good friends now. He had gone through horrible problems, and now he's gothic. Haha, <laughs> like I would hang out with a prep. <coughs> That's really rude, yo. I'm sorry, but if you were a goth, I'm pretty sure you would hang out with these so-called preps. Ugh, I, ugh, I want to gag at them. But I'm not going. But I'm not going with Draco anymore," said the Vampire. "Yeah, effin' right. F off, you bastard!" I screamed. I ran out of the room and into the Forbidden Forest, where I had lost my ver, ver, virility to Draco. And then I burst, in, and I started to bust into tears. I'm pretty sure it's burst into tears, but all right. <coughs> okay. So, on to it. Numero chapter nine. Authors no. Stop flaming, okay? I, I don't read all the box. This is from the movie, okay? So it's not my fault if Dumbledore swears. Besides, I said he had a headache. And the reason Snap doesn't like Harry now is because he's Christian and, vibe and a vampire... And Vampire is a Satanist. MCR rocks! <coughs> what? What? So, Ebony hates Christians. <sighs> oh, no. This is real bad. I, I feel bad for all Christians reading this. This is horrendous. And I feel bad for all Catholics, too. Since I think, uh, from what I've heard, Catholic is kind of like a more specific version for, it's like a more specific type of Christian. But I feel so bad for them because now you're cringing and you're probably all offended and you're going to be screaming at, I, I don't know. That's just terrible. It's just, I have no words for this anymore. I don't. <coughs> Honestly, I don't. I was so mad and sad, I couldn't believe Draco f for cheating on me. I began to cry against the tree where I did with Draco. Then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, a horrible man with red eyes and no nose and everything started flying towards me on a broomstick. He didn't have a nose, basically like Voldemort in the movie, and he was wearing all black, but it was obvious he wasn't gothic. It was... Voldemort! No! I shouted in a scared voice, but then Voldemort shouted, Imperious! And I couldn't run away. Crook shakes! <laughs> no! Okay, so she just shouted, so she just shouted Crookshanks, which is the cat. Crookshanks is a cat. He's Hermione's cat. Like, I think the cat just came out of her wand, and now he's uh, he's hanging all over um, Voldemort. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my goodness, she just... She really just let out a cat out of her wand. I guess, I don't know. I guess Hermione had something to do with this. I'm Or, I'm sorry, Bloody Mary Smith. Wow. <laughs> Voldemort fell out of his broom and started to scream. I felt bad for him, even though I'm I'm a saddest, so I stopped. Ebony, he yelled, thou must kill Vampire Potter. I thought about Vampire and his sexy eyes and his gothic black hair, and now his face looks like just like Joel Maiden. I remember that the Draco said that I didn't understand, so I thought... What if Draco went out with Vampire before I went out with him, and they broke up? No! Voldemort! I shouted back. Voldemort gave me a gun. A gun? No! 
the no please i begged thou must he shouted if thou does not then i shall kill thy beloved draco H how do you know i asked in a surprised way voldemort god i dude you're so sorry to look on your face i hate telekinesis he answered cruelly and if you doth not kill Harry Potter, then thou shalt, then thou know what will happen to Draco, he shouted, and he flew away angrily on his broomstick. Wait a minute. When did Draco, oh, no, not Draco, when did Voldemort ever speak like, like, like in Shakespearean times? What? I was sorry, but that just, no. I was so scared and mad that I didn't know what to do. Suddenly, Draco came into the woods. Draco! I said. Hi! Hi, he said back, but his face was all sad. He was wearing white foundation and messy eyeliner, kind of like a pantagram. Get it? Between Joel Maiden and, G and Gerald Way. Are you okay? He asked. No, he answered. I'm sorry, I got all mad at you, but I thought you cheated on me. I expelled. Expelled? What? That's okay. He said all depressed as we went back to Hogwarts together, making out. <coughs> no! <laughs> Christ, no! And <laughs> So that's the end of this episode for My Immortal. Hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Toodles.